I don't think there's a fund manager in this country, a fund manager in this country that could get away with this kind of thing uh, other than Kathy Wood. And I say that because if it were a brokerage house that came out and said this, David, we would dismiss it so quickly as being hype. But Kathy Wood actually is so good that you start thinking, okay, well, what is Elon Musk going to do? Their bear case is 1,500. Their bull case is 4,000. This is all pretty much in the same thing. Bear case is 1,500. Well, I mean, it's just 600. I mean, well, that's interesting. Uh, Hey, I'm Stephen, and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So over the weekend, ARK Invest dropped their highly anticipated Tesla stock price targets, ranging from $1,500 per share in 2025 in the bear case, up to $4,000 per share in 2025 in the bull case, and $3,000 per share in their base case with Tesla stock in 2025. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to some of the mainstream finance media reactions to ARK Invest's new Tesla stock price target. Keeping in mind that a year or so ago, last time ARK Invest shared their research on Tesla, nobody really paid a huge amount of attention because they all thought ARK were completely insane. A year or so later, Tesla stock 10xing in the interim, now a lot more people are paying attention to what ARK have to say, so are they going to be laughed out of the room or taken a little bit more seriously? Let's find out. But first, hey guys, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. I think when I thought of this initially, I don't think there's a fund manager in this country, a fund manager in this country, that could get away with this kind of thing uh, other than Kathy Wood. And I say that because if it were a brokerage house that came out and said this, David, we would dismiss it so quickly as being hype. But Kathy Wood actually is so good that you start thinking, OK, well, what is Elon Musk going to do? I mean, maybe he's got a lot in mind that she's thought about. I always know that, that Elon Musk wants to reinvent the entire grid, right. the entire grid, which, remember, was put together in, in piecemeal. So a couple of things here. First of all, Jim is completely right. If any Wall Street firm came out with a price target on Tesla stock in the multi-thousand range for 2025, most likely everyone would laugh them out of the room. But this is exactly the same thing that was happening to Kathy Wood and ARK Invest just a couple of years early when they were publishing their own research. The only reason that they're not being laughed at and ridiculed now is because they were dead f***ing right. ARK Invest have earned their credibility by being right before it was obvious that Tesla was headed to the moon. Hmm... Can you guys think of anyone else who was extremely vocal and bullish about Tesla stock, suggesting that it would head to the moon before it did head to the moon? And now they've gained some credibility because they were right about Tesla stock when everyone thought they were insane? No, neither can I. Let's move on. And back to Jim's comments there. He was suggesting that ARK Invest have used Tesla's energy business in some of their modeling and their valuation. Sorry to rain on your parade, Jimmy Chill, but no, they haven't. ARK aren't including any of Tesla's energy business. None. No solar, no batteries, no auto bidder. Literally nothing but vehicles and software for slash in those vehicles. This is how they get to their $3,000 base case and $4,000 bull case by 2025 for Tesla stock. No energy business at all. So I... I, I... She, I, mean, I know that there'll be people who say, Jim, you shouldn't have used the term get away with. Uh, but I do feel, David, that she has the cachet to say it and not be dismissed. When I heard it this week, and I, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how she got to that price target. Ooh, this is a little awkward. I mean, I, I do understand that Jim probably did spend some time on the weekend trying to think his way through ARK's valuation model for Tesla stock. But Jim probably isn't aware. ARK actually published their research along with a downloadable Excel spreadsheet that includes their entire Tesla stock valuation model. You can literally see every item in there, every line, 
average selling price, number of vehicles sold, insurance revenue, full self-driving revenue, ride-hailing revenue. It's literally all in the sheet. And by the way, guys, I highly recommend you download the GitHub model and play around yourself. It's a great way to understand where ARC are coming from, what are their assumptions, do you agree or disagree? You can edit the numbers yourself, see what result it spits out for you. And by the way, guys, if you'd like to see a deep dive into ARC's valuation model on Tesla stock price target, we can run through the numbers, what do they all mean, change the figures around, etc. look at their assumptions. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to publish that video if you guys are interested. Okay. And um, I just think that she's using uh, the notion that Elon Musk uh, is going to be able to make cars everywhere. But it's not just cars. It's obviously bigger than cars. It's got to be bigger than cars to get right. anywhere near that. I mean, it's funny, these different percentage chances she puts on things. The bull case, a 25 percent probability Tesla could be worth 4000 a share or more in 2025. So four years from now. Well, what would happen if Tony Saganegi from, you know, from uh, Bernstein said this? We would think that he, I don't know. We think he, he lost his was, mind. Yeah, that he ate something with his breakfast. That right. Was, I mean, uh, I like Tony. Bringing on hallucinations. Speaking of eating mushrooms for breakfast, this is a great opportunity to plug the very first video I published on this channel entitled Elon Musk's Psychedelic Secret. Now, I just want to say one thing on this video. I was right about Tesla stock. I'm going to be right about this as well. And there are different firms, uh, uh, the Jonas Brothers over at Morgan Stanley. Yeah. I, I mean, there's the Jonas Brothers, <laughs> one who probably thinks... I gave a hard it. time to some analysts recently. Yeah, it was, you know, even seven or Adam eight times Jones. revenues. But, but, uh, but you're Jones, right. This it, is the most successful fund manager of recent times. So how He's can captured we not the imagination her? of many investors. Uh, and, and the performance numbers are there. I have so no you have to listen. Wood. Do you have a knock on wood? Do I have a what? A knock on wood. Yeah, sure. Someone's very smart, but did that. I saw it. Yes, I see it. But no, that's really work. smart. Yeah. Well, but, you, you know, know like, David, people. it's going to get the stock going. We're in a different kind of market. There's been a series of articles now that talk about, I didn't even know this. Do you know what a stimmy is? Yes, I do. It's a stimulus check. Right. So yes. the stimmies are going to go by Tesla. I know. I've seen that, too. The stimmies. Well, they're not going. They're not sitting. Here. Are they even going to? Even with what we have seen of late, is the decline in many of these high multiple names? I have to know. Did any of you guys watching spend your stimmy on Tesla stock? Let me know in the comments below. If not, did you buy any other stocks with your stimulus check? I no. think everyone should get what she you know you can get and be on the distribution list. And you you can see she likes disruptive technologies that are not involved and kind of don't have nothing to do with the linkage of bonds. She doesn't care at all about that linkage. But why did she pick three thousand instead of twenty five hundred, Jim? Uh, Jim, uh, these are not questions I can answer, like so many others. Well, Jim and David, it's your lucky day. I can tell you how they came up with this. Once again, I refer you to ARK Invest GitHub model. Download the Excel sheet, look at all the line items, and you will see how it's spitting out their valuation. By the way, they're special effects. Don't worry at all, guys. And guys, I'm not kidding. ARK Invest valuation model is extremely comprehensive. All of these figures in blue that I'm showing you guys now are editable inputs, which will change the valuation, therefore the stock price target for 2025. So if you're curious, as I mentioned, I highly recommend you guys download ARK Invest full model on Tesla to get an understanding of how they're coming to these figures. Their bear case is 1500. Their bull case is 4000. This is all pretty much bear in the case same case. Bear case is 1500. Bear case is 1500. Well, I mean, it's a 600. I mean, well, that's interesting. Uh, it's kind of funny to watch Jim Cramer's brain breaking in real time there. It's like he's in a monologue. He's like, wait, what? $1,500 per share? It's That's the bear case? Is double what it is today? What the fuck? Uh, well, I mean, look, I, you know, who am I? Who am I to argue with, with Kathy Wood? I mean, one of the things that happened is, you know, if she says it's going to 3000 then there are going to be people... Who are going to buy it because they think it's going to 3000 Jim Cramer definitely has a point here. In fact, let me bring up the Tesla stock price at the moment. Up over 5% during trading hours. The very first trading day after ARK Invest published their research and their new Tesla stock price target. $3,000 per share in 2025 base case. 4000 per share bull case in 2025. Now, we never know for sure what's affecting a stock price other than buying and selling activity, but I suspect that ARK Invest have a pretty large amount to do with what's happening with Tesla stock today. Because she identified it early. Uh, uh, if a major Wall Street firm said that, they'd be laughed out, right? They'd be just like, are you kidding me, you jokers? But um, the younger people swear by her, and the older people don't know who she is, so it doesn't matter. But they're learning... And boy, is she aggressive. 
I completely agree. I mean, it's interesting to see what she buys and how everyone follows her. I think that I talked about this with Kenny Polcari a couple weeks ago, Jim, but she really is showing kind of like where where the market could go in five to 10 years. Her buying is using the decline that is caused by rates going up to buy. And that's because she's taking a very long term view. And I don't know if that long term view is going to be uh, matched by uh, interest. In the, with younger people. Now, maybe I'm misunderstanding Jim here, but I think what he's suggesting is that younger investors who look up to the likes of Kathy Wood and really admire ARK Invest may not be so easily sold on the idea of long-term investing versus short-term. I actually think that the opposite may be true. Now, of course, I don't have evidence for this, but my assumptions here based on intuition and experience, generally speaking, Younger people are early adopters of disruptive, innovative technologies. They're more likely to understand the use case. They're more likely to see the disruption and the change taking place. And they're more likely to be open to adopting these new technologies and understanding their potential sooner than people who've been doing things the same way for the last 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years. Of course, I'm generalizing, making some assumptions and could be wrong, but this is my hunch. I think that younger investors these days are going to have an outsized opportunity. They're going to have an informational advantage over investors who've been in the market for multiple decades who aren't seeing these changes happening, who aren't down on the ground level and aren't using these new disruptive technologies. In short, I think young investors have a huge advantage these days. Plus, they've got access to the likes of YouTube, and they don't just have to be spoon-fed their financial information by CNBS. I'm trying to figure out uh, you know, if Kathy would done like it, and if it's not um, really, really exciting about blockchain or by or about uh, Bitcoin, does it get interest? And well, you have GME, Jimmy down today, but they're not going to buy JP Morgan. So what I have to do is I have to have two tracks. You have to have what younger people want to buy and older people want to buy because it, it's a real mosaic. This is a great point from Kramer. There is a mosaic of investors out there, and I think we can simplify things down to two key groups of investors. Those who are investing in and focused on disruptive innovation and those who are going to see their portfolios evaporate and disintegrate before their very eyes over the next 10 to 20 years at the hands of the very companies and technologies that these other investors are focused on, those doing the disrupting and the innovation. And I honestly, genuinely don't believe most of the investors who are in the old world can see what's around the corner. We are at the cusp of a seismic disruption, the likes of which we have never before seen. ARK Invest get it. A lot of you folks get it. But overall, the stock market in general still doesn't see what's coming. I get the distinct impression that Jim Cramer and the vast majority of those in the mainstream finance media are utterly baffled and confused by ARK Invest's new Tesla stock price target, just as they were a few years ago with their previous price target. The only difference now, ARK Invest have some track record and credibility, so they're being taken a little more seriously. But I honestly think these people, it's like, I just, what? Just does not compute. I'd love to know what you guys think about ARK Invest $3,000 price target for Tesla stock. Is it realistic? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Tesla stock will at some point in 2025 reach $3,000 per share or more? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. Comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.